Tonight, a question about religion and America, occasioned by comments by Sarah Palin that are getting a lot of attention. And here is the question. Should America be defined as a Christian nation? Dan Harris on the response. This latest Palin-provoked controversy is the result of these comments on YouTube. in which the former Alaskan governor said it is, quote, mind-boggling to suggest that America is not a Christian nation. Lest anyone try to convince you that God should be separated from the state, our founding fathers, they were believers. The idea that America was founded as an explicitly Christian country is an article of faith in some circles. The Fox News host Glenn Beck has dedicated entire shows to it. When they looked at all the writings the founders used and relied on and quoted, the most quoted source was the Bible. So is this argument correct? Mainstream historians say no, that if you look at the early documents, including personal letters, it's very clear that the founders did not want to make Christianity the official religion. Most of the founders were members of Christian churches, and their tradition was biblical and Christian. But they took great pains to avoid tilting the government toward religion. The founders left out any mention of God or Jesus in the Constitution, except when they noted the date in the year of our Lord, 1787. And then in the First Amendment, they specifically outlawed the establishment of any state religion. And by the way, Thomas Jefferson, the man who wrote in the Declaration of Independence that we are endowed by our creator with certain unalienable rights, he was a deist, not a Christian, meaning he believed that God created the universe but no longer intervenes in human affairs. Interestingly, however, many people believe that by not making Christianity the official religion, the founders created a dynamic and competitive atmosphere in which faith has thrived, making America one of the most religious developed countries on earth. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.